What we're going to be doing now is I'm going to show you how to make construction drawings. So a part of this process is that you need to develop planning drawings for you to be able to develop this storage box. Before you can actually start creating it, you need to have construction drawings, also known as workshop drawings. So what we're going to do, we've got our completed box right here, and I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go New Drawing, Okay, because before we've been doing New Design, but we're going to go New Drawing from design, so from this design here, and we've got this little tab that pops down, and we want to make sure it's iOS, so that's an international standard, millimetres and units, and it's going to be on an A3 sheet, we go OK, and this is going to load, and it's going to take us to a page that where our drawing will appear. Like so. Now, we've got our box right here. So this is called a front view. And then basically, that's just the base view. I want to do projected angles. So I've got my front view. This is called a top view. This is a side view. And then this is the isometric projected view. Exit. And I've got all three of my views there. Now, what I'm able to do is if I click on them, I'm able to change the colour, make them shaded, or make them so you can actually see through them. So I want to have, on this one, I actually want to have them solid. So I want to have them shaded so you can actually see them. All the dotted lines here are hidden lines that you can't see. So this is solid, so it looks like it all the way through. You're also able to change the scale for how big they sit on the page. So I've just changed that to 1.4, so they look a little bit bigger, as it takes a little bit of time. So all you need to do is change the first one. What we've got here is we have your drawing box. Now, this is where all the key information goes. So this is who it's been created by. So if you want to close it, if you want to work on it, you can change who it's been created by. You can change your date. Now, you can also change the title. So it's the title box. So the title of this one is, it's going to be a storage box. And then I'll just title this orthogonal drawing. Right, because that's what it is. It's an orthogonal drawing because it's got three different perspectives. I'm actually not going to put any measurements on this one, but still I'm going to label it. So for me to label it, I actually need to bring. So if I want to move. They move all together because they all need to be in line. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my text box here, and this is called the top view. As you can see, I'm doing it in capitals, as that is what you should be doing. Front view. And then we've got our side view. As you can see, some of them actually aren't in the right spot. They should all be directly in the center underneath. With this software, sometimes you need to move it around to get it in the right area. So they all should be in line on that bottom line. And then vertically, they should be in line as well. So you sometimes you just got to eyeball that or do the best of your ability. So, now you're going to save this file, so it's completed storage box drawing, and I'm just going to save that in my storage box file, and we're going to save that there. Save. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to have to do this to each one of our components. So I'm going to open my panel, and for each component that I've done, completed, I am going to have to do an orthogonal drawing, but I'm going to show you how to do measurements now. 
As you can see, I open my panel and I just right clicked on it and I do create new sketch. Now my component is showing there. Now, it's not really showing the way I want it to show for a front view. The way I want it to show for a front view is actually like so. Okay, because that's the front of my project. So you're able to actually change how you want it to display. So my front view ideally is the largest part because that's where it's going to be. That's what we want to showcase. Now, I'm going to leave this in white. So if I want to change it, I can go visible edges, but I want to have the hidden line shown so you can see them. And the scale, I might bump the scale up to 1.4 just so these drawings are a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in something called dimensions. So these dimensions are going to help you in creating your job. Now, when you're putting in dimensions, you never put in the same dimension twice. So what I mean by that is this side is 280 mils long. Therefore, we won't put that same measurement up there. We will find another one that we can potentially put in. What we can measure up here is that this rebate is 9.5 mils wide and that it is 19 mils wide. And so it's 9.5 mils thick and 19 mils wide. Now, what else I could measure down here is I could potentially measure how big the through housing joint is. And on this one, I can measure how wide my piece of timber is. So the green dot, the green square basically means that you're on the edge. And this one down here, or mark out how wide. So if we can't get it properly, you have to scroll in how wide the bottom bit is. And then the last one, I might mark out this area here, like so. Now, the last thing that we need to do before we finish is we need to put in the name of our view, so top view. view, side view, and we want to go to our draw title box. I'm just going to change that. And this is going to be the title is going to be storage box. Okay, the second title is going to be back drawing of back. Okay, date of issue. Don't really worry about that. A sheet number. Okay, so this is going to be our second sheet. And drawing number, it's going to be our number one drawing. And all we're going to do is go OK there. If we have a look, that is our first component complete. So we save this as jewelry box back, make sure it's staved in. Now we go to our next component. So I'm going to go to my side and I will go new drawing. So I'm only going to be making the drawing for big ticket items. I'm not going to be making it for the base of the box or the carcass due to the fact that it's not really required and you should really be measuring those. So as you can see, it's not really how I'd like it. So I'm going to change the orientation left, so you kind of need to muck around a little bit, so I'm going to go bottom, press exit so we go up, I'm going to move these in a little bit, 
making sure scale is 1.4 perfect go dimensions again so I'm going to do the width here I might do the bottom one down here again trench there the depth of the trench here 9.5 and then maybe I'll do the thickness of the timber as well here it'll put my names in so top view making sure it's in capitals move it to the middle so move it away move it to the middle yeah, front view. And we've got our side view. We're going to go to our title box. So, title, storage box, second one. Sign. Sheet number, it's number three. Drawing number, number three. Don't worry about any restes. There you go, save. Side drawing. Right, and then we're going to do the front. New drawing from design. And we do the exact same thing. So like so. Projected drawings. Top. Side. Isometric. Double click. I want to change the scale to 1.4 just to make it a bit bigger. We'll close. We'll do our dimensions now. So I'm going to do on this one, what I might do is how high up. And I might do how wide. And then here, what we may do. Five mils, five mils. So as I said, there's no doubling up of measurements on each drawing. And sometimes you may actually have to delete a measurement. So, because if it doesn't fit in there properly, we'll get rid of that one, put that in. Put our 19 mil stick. So, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding our text in again. And we're going to go top view. Front view. Side view. Making sure they're centre. And all the same height as well. The last thing we do remember is the title box, so we're going to fix that up. OK, 
Okay, so storage box. And then this is going to be our front. Drawing number is going to be three. Our sheet number is going to be three as well. And we are going to save this one in with our others. Save and front drawing. I'm going to go back to my panel. So I've got my front drawing, my back drawing, and my side drawing. Now I want to do one of my top. My top, I'm just going to have one all together. So I'm going to go new drawing from design. Obviously, my front view is going to look like so. That's the front of the job. Top view, close that so we can see it properly. Our side view, and then obviously we've got our isometric. So, what we want to do now is we'll change the scale. So it's 1.5, let's change to 1.4 so it's a bit bigger. And I want to do visible hidden lines, and we close. What we'll do is do our dimensions. So this is important. Our first dimension. So it's important that we do our internals here. So that's 190. 109. And then also what we can do here is from here to there. So people know that's a 5 mil groove. And then we do the thickness of our top to the length of our top to the width which is 199 then we we'll also do how wide that is and one of the last ones we'll do is the width of our material so what I'll do now is I'll put in my text Top view, front view, side view, make sure they're in the middle, title box, so first thing's going to be storage box. Drawing number four. Sheet number four. And we'll save. Now, with our draw, which is the next one that we're going to do, we're going to have to do multiple drawings for this to be able to, be able to see what it looks like. But the first thing that we'll do is probably an orthogonal. So we'll find our completed draw. I'll go new drawing from design. Then we've got our our front view, okay, which actually our back view with how I've designed it. Got our top view. And we've also got our side view. Got our isometric there. We'll close this tab. Let's make it easy. Right, remember, 1.4, and we want to have visible lines. Okay, 
when you're changing the scale, you've always got to be done from this one. Both shows here the lines, our dimensions. So our front plate is 252 mils long. And also do the thickness of my material here, which is 12. On this one, I'll do the width. 56 over here to the width of the material here back 46 was to the length of my side which is 180 thickness of my rebate not my rebate, my finger joint. I'll do my internal measurement here. So it shows the 242, which is the length. My back internal, which is 218. And if we have a look at that, that should just be about enough measurements for my top. But I might add one more to my bottom view for how much space there should be around. Okay, so we've got our 5 mils, 5 mils. So the whole point of these is so that you're able to read off them. Now, something like this measurement here becomes it's a little bit hard due to the fact that it's kind of hiding where our box is going to go. So what I'm going to have to do with this one is I'm just going to move it. It's right underneath. That way I can still put my box in. So top view. Put our bottom view, or front view, sorry. This one's in a little bit of strife as well, so we need to just move it, move it up, or move it to the other side. Move it there. Side view. Get rid of this. Get a storage box. Title is going to be draw number five. Five. Yeah, okay. Now, the last one we're going to do is we're going to probably do two more one for the draw sides and then one for the draw front. So, I'm going to save this as draw. Go back to my panel. Right click on draw front, new drawing from design. Because I just want to show you, show the finger joint. So in, in a job, you really want to show the technicalities when you're building it, to make it a lot easier on yourself. Otherwise, it's quite hard. We've got one there. Remember, we've got our projector views. So, if we want to change the scale, we click on this one, 1.4. We want to move it in a little bit as well. Dimensions. So, we really want to showcase these dimensions here. Zoom over here, 5 mils, Just 
groove. I want to show the thickness of the material. We also want to showcase the length of the material. And we want to show how deep the groove is. So then we go text, top view, front view, side view. Remember, we change our title box. To storage box. We go draw front. It's number six. Six, we go OK. And we'll save. Now, our last one will just be our sides. We can just use one of our sides because they're all very similar other than the groove. So the groove is just going to be different on either one. So I think we only need to do one. So we want to have it set properly. Like so. That's a one to two scale. It's a bit too big. I just want one to four to make it even throughout. Top, side, isometric. We do our dimensions, so we want to go length. Then what we want to do on this one, we want to do our finger joints. The width of our job. Grooves. That can be a bit confusing having both there. So do one groove one side, one groove other side. Do the thickness of the material and the groove depth. And the last thing we'll add is the title boxes. So we've got our top view. We've got our front view. We've got our side view. Zoom in. The last one, go to storage box. Side, drawing number seven, sheet number seven, and we will save.